Alright guys, in today's video on the JKC Gaming channel, we're going to be teaching you how to win solo cash up games. To do this, I'm going to be showing you one of my own, my first win in a solo cash cup, and we're going to be going over what I did well and what I could do to improve this. This should hopefully help you with your own solo cash up gameplay. If you enjoy, use code JKC in the Fortnite item drop as always and let's get right into it. So in this game I land the west side of the map next to Camp Cuddle at this little petrol station. It has a nice little pier off the side of it and it has quite a couple of chests. It's a really good drop and I would recommend it. However, fighting off spawn in solo cash cups is not great so I'd recommend a drop that does not have anyone else landing in it and is very unlikely to be contested. That way you can go about your looting route free and very Take early to next zone to avoid mid game fights. In this game, I got kind of lucky and found a pile of loot from an old fight. You need to take advantage of this. When you're moving around a map rotating, you need to make sure you're looking around for old builds that might have loot in them. Because I've got an SMG upgrade and three slurpfish from just this one loot pile, you need to be on the lookout for those. The instant half and half pulled, I rotated straight over to it. That's what you need to do. Early rotates will always win this season, especially with the spray meta. Early rotates will win you games, especially since I didn't have a spider on Mythic. This rotate probably had a big impact on me winning this game. One mistake I made was not covering my angles. This can happen a lot and it made me use all of my heals I just got. I only had one slurpfish coming into rotating zones, which is not optimal at all. When you're pressuring someone's box or trying to get a refresh, you should always, or even lasering people, you should always cover your angles. If you don't, you could end up getting lasered like I did. The same goes for 6th zone as for 5th zone. You need to rotate as soon as possible. I kind of pressured these guys over there to get them on my back, and then as soon as I saw that I had no ammo left in my SMG, I dropped it because it was pretty much useless, and I then can continue to rotate once I didn't think anyone was looking at me. I managed to get to this rotate with pretty much full HP. You also need to be on the lookout for loot on the way around. I found a medkit just sitting there that I needed and then I looked further and I found a gold ranger, a blue shotgun and a spider-man mythic. This pretty much made my game and it was a good vision that made me have it so be on the lookout. From that point on I used my spider-man mythic to great effect rotating to zones and boxing up in hard mats. You need to make sure you're boxing up in hard mats because people will instantly see a weak target and once you're in zone, look back on the people. Try to get a couple tags, it works for everyone. I'm going to let the gameplay watch out and jump in when I make a good play. Right here the better play would have been to box up in hard mats but at the end of the day it didn't really make that much of a difference but I ended up losing a couple builds because of sprays. Right here I also got stuck against a couple metal walls because I failed to rotate early. I should have looked to put my mini map sooner and kept track of the zones because I ended up actually taking some storm damage here and I could have died. Right here I see fighting going on outside my box and hit a really nicely timed shotgun shot. When in your rotating zones you should always look around for refreshes to get your mats up and that's exactly what happened here. That refresh allowed me to get up this mountain and win the game. Getting this mountain was a really smart play because I realised it was going up the mountain and realised my opportunity to take high ground from this other player. From then on I kept the high ground for about 20 seconds before seeing the last fight was engaging and then I jumped down to finish off the kill. Bro, top four, top three. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Bro, we played that so well. I think you can see how much my first cash up win means to me. And if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, make sure you use code JKC 
in the Fortnite item shop and I'll see you guys next video. Make sure you comment down below and tell me your best cash cup score.